There is no doubt in the world, Metagazos is a top archer. In just a couple years time, he transformed from a young talent into one of the world's best. Like many great shooters, Meta has his own technique. But Meta has something special going on. Before every shot, there is a very specific move he does. Something to prepare him for a shot. Right after he grabs his arrow, he moves his body in a very particular way. Could this be the secret to his success? Let's find out in the first episode of Why Do They Do It. So first of all, thank you for uh, having this little uh, talk with me and uh, with uh, Triple Trouble. Um, I just want to ask you guys some questions about your technique um, because I feel like there are some questions from people outside of uh, Turkey uh, who want to know what's up with your technique because there is some, some movement. Um, so the first question is really, where did you learn your technique? Is, are you, have you always been his coach? No, he, he was starting in Istanbul with his father mm -hmm. when he was just three years old. Then we met in 2013, first yeah. time in the training camp and I was starting uh, coaching in Turkey. Yeah. Then since 2013 we worked together. Yeah. Because you were in Bushi, right? And uh, yeah, yeah, I remember with only one long roll. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 In that time, he was cadet, and yeah. it was really heavy for you to yeah. side roads. Yeah. And um, I, I think I remember that you were still working on your qualification run, but the finals were really good already. I think. But. Yeah, as I remember, he shot. I, I, I wasn't in Bushi. I, I wish I followed the competition yeah. from home. As I remember, as you said, in the qualification he was in prep and well, but yeah. in the finals he impressed all of us. Yeah. First time we saw his, we saw him in action. Yeah. And then after then we said, okay, he has some talent, he has some feature, yeah. we have to work on it. Yeah. So you shoot quite heavy uh, for poundage. Uh, I think you're at 50 something. Yeah, 52. Yeah. So uh, to me that sounds heavy because I shoot 52. And I'm 24, and I feel like my shoulders are a little wider than yours. Um, so why do you decide to shoot so heavy? Neden bu kadar sert bir ayda atmaya karar verdim? Düşünüyorsun, Nagel, ben de 52 pound yaratıyorum. Ben gayet zorlanıyorum. Omuzlarım biraz senden daha geniş olmasına rağmen ben zorlanıyorum. Sen neden bu kadar sert ayda atmaya karar verdin? Ben bunu karımdan verdim. Bunu karım sen verdin. This is not my decision actually. This is <gülüyor> He told me this is your decision. <gülüyor> bir de yani e, korbolden çok güçlü olduğu için o e, sertliği e, gücünü bütün korbolenle bir yakında teknik de o işte. Then I, uh, yeah, I can say my core muscles are stronger than I can absorb that weight with my core muscles then okay. Also, I'm because of this, I'm doing this that kind of movements when I start my routine for to engage my core muscles, then absorb the uh, ball weight. Yeah. So that was my next question. When did you start uh, turning your your body before shooting your arrow? Ne zaman başladın vücudun döndürerek atış yapmaya? Dört sene oldu mu? Evet, oldu. Four years ago. Four years ago. And was it something you did on purpose or something that sort of happened uh, over time? Bu hani bir nedene yönelik mi bunu yapmaya başladım yoksa kendinden mi olmaya başladım? Yani hmm. bir sebebi hmm. örnek ben çektiğim zaman atış yaparken onun geride kalıyordu. Ee, i̇yi kaldırırken ilk, ilk çekişti. Onun için de önce dönüp kırkırdım bu saat omuzum omuzu kırkırken yere gidiyordu. 
And when we start doing this movement, I wasn't able to keep my shoulders in line. Then I go in bow, always my left shoulder going back. Then I started this moving. Then also uh, start engaging my core muscles and try to keep it in the line. Yeah. And because of this, we started to do that. Do you think the, the movement you make uh, helps the pulling of the bow? So does it doesn't make you stronger for the poundage issue? Bu hareketin seni yeri çekmene yardım ettiğini düşünüyor musun? Bu kadar sert yeri kullanmanda bir etkisi var mı sence bu hareketin? Çok büyük bir etkisi var. Tabii yani şu an bana sert bir yer mümkün değil şu anda. Yani çünkü tümü çürttüğüm zaman hem kobrolem de doğru bir şey oluyor, e, aktif oluyor. Ve bu sayede o e, gücü dağıtılar bir şekilde e, kontrolü sağlayabiliyorum. Of course, this helps, this helps me too much when I turn and when I engage my core muscles. I feel really strong and I can say the ball is, I don't feel as a 52 pounds, I don't feel that much weight. Then it's easy for me to draw, to pull the ball. And I think this is really helps me. Okay, cool. Um, I was at the Spring Cup earlier this year and I noticed that there are some uh, youth from Turkey also uh, doing a similar movement. Is it something that is now uh, being taught by t- uh, trainers in Turkey, or is it something that young archers look up to and just copy of uh, method? Yeah, we can say both. There's some archers are ju- they just imitate, try to imitate, yeah. and they, ju- they just try to understand what he's doing. Mm-hmm. And also, we have also some special group to work on it. Then we try to teach them the proper way to shoot. We try to teach them how can they make their shoot, how can they align their shooting line before start and how can be ready uh, before throwing, how can, how they have to do their pre-draw position, then also how can they engage their core muscles during the shot. And we have 15 or 20 archers as a group to working on this, this project. And also on the other end, there are some other people, they just watching the videos or watching him in the field, the reaction then try to imitate. Okay, well those are pretty much my questions and I think uh, it answered the questions that I had so I hope it answered the questions of the, uh, the people as well. So I mostly want to thank you for uh, giving me this opportunity to share the, the secret with, uh, with the world. And uh, I wish you the best of luck for uh, Sunday on the Bonds Medal match. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is really good chance to be in triple trouble. <laughs> Thank you so much and good luck for the World Championship. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Thanks very much for watching this video all the way. Um, the interview was a little longer than I expected and uh, the audio quality is not the best, but we're working on that on the background. Um, if there's anybody else you want to see on the field, uh, let us know and we will check it out.